Is your scope really showing you what you need to see? Why settle for guesswork when you can pinpoint design problems by seeing the cause? Discover what you've been missing with the Tektronix 2467B Bright Eye. I was bringing up a new CPU and operating system uh, part of a new test instrument. I used a conventional analog scope to probe all the address data and control lines to make sure that they were behaving as I expected. On this particular scope, the top signal is a chip select based off of address strobe to memory. And the bottom signal is uh, DSAC, which terminates the bus cycle. And there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with these signals. And on the 2467, by turning up the intensity and using the microchannel plate, I'm able to see on the top trace an infrequent event, which is the bus cycle being terminated early. The, the chip select is going up after about 150 nanoseconds, which is too early. And the reason that it's happening is the DSAC on the lower trace is infrequently being held up just a little bit too long and the rise time associated with DSAC is causing the subsequent bus cycle to be terminated too early. The 2467 with, with its high writing rate and its microchannel plate uh, is a really good diagnostic tool. It, it will let me see what's going on, on on a signal where I wouldn't be so sure that I would see it on a conventional scope or a DSO. The 2467B's microchannel plate technology and lightning-fast waveform throughput help you see what no other scope can. In fact, the 2467B has over 1,000 times faster throughput than this digital scope. With the 2467B, hidden events and elusive glitches have no place to hide, making problem identification fast and simple. Well, I was working on a trigger circuit for an oscilloscope, and I was having a problem where I was getting false triggers that were occurring intermittently. Um, I viewed the trigger outputs on a conventional CRT uh, like the one in this 2465. As you can see, the main trigger event is barely visible on this oscilloscope. At that point, I switched over to the 2467 to see if I could find out what was going on in more detail. Uh, as you can see, in this instrument, the main trigger event is clearly visible, and there's also an oscillation that's occurring intermittently in the background. In this case, I had a high-speed event, the oscillation that's occurring at about 100 megahertz, that was on top of a signal that was fairly slow at about a kilohertz. On the writing rate of the 2467 allowed me to find the oscillation and to solve the problem. By greatly reducing debug time, the 2467B improves time to market. And shipping products on time dramatically improves your company's bottom line. The three major points for 2467 are number one, it's brightness. It's ability to see things that nobody else can see. That's number one. Number two is its simplicity of use. It operates exactly the same as our 2465 oscilloscopes. So people don't have to worry about operating two different kinds of scopes. They work exactly the same. And number three, it has enough bandwidth to see the very fastest signals. It has 400 megahertz of bandwidth. So it has the things you need to make it a very powerful scope. But the number one thing is brightness. The ability to see those things that you didn't even know were there. When you're looking for a problem, you can see it. You don't have to wonder if you're seeing it. You know you're going to see it. Discover the unknown. See what you've been missing. Decrease your debug time and improve your bottom line with the 2467B Bright Eye. For more information or to arrange for a live demonstration of the 2467B, contact your local Tektronix representative or phone the Tektronix National Marketing Center at 1-800-426-2200, extension 67B.